How are we doing guys? Myself, Chris Preddy, OBE, and welcome to my MIMS journey. If you're just joining, I suffer with a condition called lupus. Lupus had me up against my wall, but now we're fighting back. This is a journey that I want to take you guys all on. And like I said, I was on hydrochloroquine, I was on Pelisolone, I was on Michael Phenolate. I was on every single one of them. And I'm letting you know that you don't need to be on it. Don't allow the hospitals just to be giving us tablets, just to be giving us medication that causes other side effects. To a point now they're giving you other medication for the medication that they already gave to you. These are the kind of times when, yes, we were sitting down and I tried to say to myself, like, what do I need to do? So I, I went and got poo samples, guys, straight up and down, yeah? I went and got blood tests because I started saying to myself, why is the hospital not telling me what I'm allergic to? Why is the hospital telling me what I'm not in deficient in? Why is the hospital not telling me what I might be lacking, what I might be needing? And these are the kind of signs is prevention is better than cure, guys. We have to wake up. We can't just sit there and look at the doctor and believe they're right. We can't just sit there and do our own research. Or we can't just sit there and hear information from people and be like, yeah, that's valid. You've got to start finding about what's going on in your body. I had to understand, why is my body fighting myself? Why am I attacking myself? Why is my cells attacking each other? Do you know what I mean? So yes, I've got to a stage where I started to break down and do alkaline diets. I've been doing fasting. I've been having CMOS. But once again, we can take all these kind of information in. But at the same time, how do we know what's right? How do we know what's wrong? Yes, CMOS is great because it's got 102 minerals and, and, and nutrients. Of course, that's going to be good for anyone's body. But am I producing the nutrients already? Am I producing so much of it? If there's too much of what my body's producing, because once again, autoimmune just means that my body is fighting and overly producing something. So once again, I had to look at my gut. I had to start thinking about deworming and all these kind of things are great. But if you don't know your body and don't know what you're lacking in, then you're never going to know when to start. If you do not have a journal to be able to break down that, I felt good this morning. I didn't feel good yesterday. What was going on yesterday? What did I eat? What did I not eat? Sometimes you've got to take the time out to understand what it is that you're going through. And if you're not going to start with the mind, well, like I said, there's all of us right now. We're, we're great and at giving advice. We're great at, in the sense of our exercise. We're great at saying that we're keeping ourselves fit and drinking water and all the rest of it and eating healthy. But is your mind healthy? What do you scroll? What do you look at? What's going on in your life? Have you dealt with certain trauma? Have you been able to understand and accept who you are as a person? Because we, we all cover up. We're never showing ourselves. How many times do we walk out the door and we all put on a mask? Whether it's a hat, whether it's the way you dress, whether it's the way you look, everyone puts on a mask. So when are you going to accept yourself? And that's what it's about. Life is just about acceptance and saying, I know what I need to do. I know what I'm putting in my body. I know where I'm going wrong. I know I drink too much alcohol. I know that I smoke. I know. We all know what our flaws are. How much of us are working harder to actually maintain living a long healthy life making sure and we only realize that until your back's against the wall like i said i only realized that in january when i was dying laying on a bed on jerry haptic ward in the sense of with other cancer patients where it was in their 70s 80s what am i doing there but that's how sick i was that's how bad it got because man them like us didn't want to check in man them like us didn't want to let our ego go I didn't want my missus to look at me and feel like I wasn't sexy anymore. I didn't want her to look at me and feel like, rah, like, is this the same man that you fell in love with? So I was getting insecure about the way that I felt. I wasn't able to protect. I wasn't able to provide. I'm laying in a bed and I'm saying to myself, I can't even pick up my son. I can't hug my missus. I can't kiss my woman. These are things that are demasculating me as a man. But once again, it's about unity. Once again, it's about when they say, do death do us part through sickness, through health, and you make that marriage vows, I didn't understand about marriage vows. I didn't understand through sickness, through health. I didn't understand through death to us. I understand now. I understand now. And there's many men out there. Yes, there's going to be times where we can't protect, we can't provide. There's going to be many times out there where you're going to be feeling like your ego's been hit. You're not going to be feeling good in the sense of your body. You're not going to be feeling confident. You're not going to be feeling strong. But if you've got a good woman by your side, she's going to be looking at you and she ain't watching the interior. She's watching the interior. She's watching your integrity. She's watching your morals. She's looking at you and seeing how much resilience you've got. Are you going to bounce back? These are the kind of things internally that we love. What we look at and what we see every single day. Yes, we want to be able to see eye candy, but this is the realest. There was times when I got to a stage where I'm just like, I am I the still guy that you looked at? Am I still in a man? I don't feel like the man. I feel like I've changed. I've changed completely. Face-wise, but also inside-wise, because I know who I am and I've accepted myself and I've grown into a next person. And that was quite shocking in the sense of going through this journey as well. And then now my wife looking at me like, Ra, you're not the same person inside. 
because I've changed certain integrities, I've changed certain morals, I've changed certain values, certain things ain't worth it, certain arguments and certain conversations that might come up. We argue about so much things that stress her out that in, in a day's time, two days time, a month's time, it wasn't even relevant. You can't even remember what you was even stressing about in the first place. So I've been able to take a step back because when you're at life death experience, you wake up and you start saying to yourself, it's not even worth it. It's not worth arguing. It's not worth stressing. It's not worth going through life and, and not telling people the ones that you really do love, that you love them. It's not worth going through life and having bad relationships and knowing that people are putting you down and you've only got one life. So sometimes it might be a friend, it might be a family, it might be a mother, but whoever it is, love the people that love you. And if they don't love you, move forward with the people that do. And this is just kind of a journey that I'm trying to continue myself on. But once again, guys, you're not alone. Join this journey with me. What's you guys' thoughts? Comment below.